and I'm standing here on Evans Street, St. Augustine, where earlier today a tree would have fallen in the road as a result of all the heavy rains that happened. Uh, as you can see behind me, the tree, when it fell, it actually took out some of parts of the building. Uh, we spoke to the owner of said building who would have said that that was actually his business and as a result he lost uh, most of his goods. Well, to be totally honest, I was just packing some mangoes and stuff and I just walked out the doubles man if he wanted some, some mango wholesale. And why is that coming back? I hear cracks and it's the whole tree. I thought it was a branch. The vendor, who also lives in the house, says thankfully no one was hurt in the incident. No, no one was hurt. Okay. He just landed on top of a vehicle and they managed to survive. The fallen tree blocked the road for several hours, making it impassable. Videos on social media show members of the fire service cutting the tree into pieces and clearing it from the road. By noon, some of the debris had been cleared, allowing traffic to flow again. Evans Street is one of several areas across Trinidad and Tobago affected by heavy rainfall today. In South Trinidad, areas like Clark Road, San Francisco, and Mafeking have seen flooding on streets and residential neighborhoods, while in the east, parts of Arima and Omero were affected by rising waters. Josette Dionanan, TV6 News.